over in uh, northern Indiana. But you say that with trepidation, like it's, it's about to happen, <laughs> don't you think? Something I'm thinking maybe happen. next Tuesday morning. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. we, have, we have a little we got a pattern here. Yeah, we have a little break. <laughs> <laughs> So, but uh, wow, not much of a break for those of you over in northern Indiana, south of West Michigan. I watched Eric Kong yesterday, his live reports over Michigan City, and oh my goodness, yes indeed, your snow has certainly piled up to uh, snow depths reportedly greater than a foot over that way. 24 degrees is going to be our high temperature here today, and the average today is 29. We're at 22 degrees right now at O'Hare, and the wind is out of the west-northwest at about 7 miles per hour. So that's giving us a wind chill of 13 degrees. 23 midway, 25 lakefront. It is 22 degrees in Waukegan. Skies have been a little more clear south of the city, and because of that, those temperatures have dropped off a little more than other places. Wind chills, as you can see, in the teens for the most part. And here's a look at that satellite picture, and you can see kind of what I mean, how we did have a lot of cloud cover well south. There is more in the way of some clearing, but I do think, well, far southern suburbs, and I mean, I'm talking down around Kankakee, you may have to see more sun this morning. The rest of us, I'm going to play it a fairly cloudy, partly to mostly cloudy day around here. It's three in Peoria. Here's what I mean. It's been clear all night long, Peoria and Champaign. So their temperatures have had more of an opportunity to drop while we, thankfully, remain in the 20s since we've had this little cloud blanket around. Some of these clouds have been producing some flurries here in Chicago. In the northeast, things are starting to settle down, except for portions of uh, central Pennsylvania, southwestern Pennsylvania, around the Pittsburgh area this morning. They continue to get some snow there. But once again, South Bend, back toward Benton Harbor, we continue to see those lake effect bands, and the lake effect snow warnings are still in effect there until uh, about another hour and 20 minutes, and we'll monitor that to see if those warnings need to be to the Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks. 440, here's Ross. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Jose. Well, of course, that news means that traffic news is going to be pretty good as well. Good morning, everybody. We'll take a look outside.